120 dips and 80 pull-ups. This is no joke. In today's training log episode, we're going to be doing 15 down dips and 12 down pull-ups. Now, what is a down workout, you might ask? Well, credit to Alpha Destiny for this, but basically this workout consists of doing first an initial number, in this case, for example, for the dips, it would be 15, then you rest 30 to 60 seconds, and then you do 14, then you rest again, and then you do 13, and so on and so forth. For me, after I go past 9, I start to try to accumulate as many continuous sets as possible, so without any rest time. This is just to make the exercises harder. For the pull-ups, you're going to be doing the exact same, but starting off with the number 12. That is why the footage on the left, which is the dips, is sped up, so it catches up to the pull-ups. So, let me tell you a little bit about the benefits of this style of workout. First of all, it's fun as fuck. Let me tell you, it is the most fun I have had in a workout in a while. It's amazing how you stay locked the fuck in on every single set because of the short rest times. Usually, you know, when you're doing your classic bodybuilding parameters, you're like just digging around for three to five minutes until you do your next set. If you do supersets, you do your two movements and then you're just like standing there and waiting and you get bored or in my case, I get distracted with the music and stuff like that. But with this, I was like the fuck, like super locked in and it was like, okay, I finished the set. I have to rest as little as possible to get into the next one. And I was constantly like thinking, how is my body feeling, right? How is my state? Can I perform this amount of reps for the next set? Do I have to wait a little bit more? I need to minimize the amount of time that I'm like resting, right? And that was my thought process when doing this. The second thing that makes it fun is the pain tolerance you have to have to do this is similar to BFR in the aspect that at first you're like, yeah, this is not that bad, you know, this is this is pretty decent. And then on the third set, you're like screaming in pain because it's just like the pump, you know, and the metabolic fatigue is just so much and you feel so weak. That is what happens with these, but it's like the torso version of BFR, if you will. It's just unbelievably tough and I really enjoy that. And the third thing that makes it fun is that you can do classic movements without having to worry about being in relevant rep ranges. You just spam a movement and the high amount of reps in a way boosts your ego because you're like, oh, I did like 120 dips. I did like 80 pull-ups. I did like 300 push-ups, you know? It's a huge number that you usually wouldn't like reach with like conventional bodybuilding parameters and that that also incentivizes you to keep going and to chase that next rep PR, which is amazing for progression. And I really want to incorporate that into my new program or at least my new version of my program. I have been really enjoying doing this with like decline push-ups and inverted rows. I really like uh, the prisoner style workouts for that reason. And on top of that, it gets you very conditioned. Like at first I wasn't able to handle 15 down dips, uh, sorry, 15 down inverted rows and uh, 20 down decline push-ups. But then over time I started doing them without any rest time in between, which is brutal, yes, but it got me very conditioned. So you get the benefits of doing HIT while doing your hypertrophy work, which is amazing. I have been really enjoying uh, the prisoner style workouts. Again, I really recommend you giving these a shot. You can do it with diamond push-ups. You can do them with decline diamond push-ups, regular push-ups with pull-ups, inverted rows. You can even do them with isolations if you want to. Uh, you can do them with legs, that's something I'm considering because I'm willing to buy BFR bands for my legs and train them in that fashion, like doing 15 down, 20 down squat workouts with BFR, taking masochism to a new whole definition, um, which is going to be pretty fun in my opinion for, for this summer, it's going to uh, be absolutely brutal, but I think it's going to be very worth it. On another aspect, something you can try is to have one session where you do like very hard one rep max style variations, not one rep max, but more like max effort. You know, you do like your low reps, like four to six on one session. And then on the other one, you have like your volume session, which is this style of training. And you can rotate different movements, like for example, doing dips, again, doing any type of like push up, pike push ups. I don't know if someone has the balls to do uh, prisoner style pike push ups. I think that's going to be pure torture. You might be able to do them even with bands now that I think about it. Like imagine doing like band face pulls with these. Yeah, I think it blends pretty well with calisthenics. I don't believe you can do this with weights, or I wouldn't find a purpose to doing them weighted. But if you like the high reps or you need the conditioning, it might be able to work. I would personally just chase lower rest times and higher reps 
and eventually you can think about doing a hotter variation, which is totally valid. But adding weight, man, you have your basic bodybuilding parameters to do that. I wouldn't necessarily advise for it, but you do you, you know. Um, so yeah, that was like the whole workout. Uh, that's where you see I got 120 dips and 80 pull-ups. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below about this style of workouts. Do you want to give it a shot? Would you like me to make a free program for you with this one? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, guys, thanks for watching.